Hey, Mike here, michaelpitluck.com, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a broadcast, uh, create tags, make sure your links are working, and create filters to make sure that you're sending the email to the right people. Now, this is the second video in a series that I'm doing here on a promotion that I'm running. It's called the Stuck at Home Promotion. Because of the coronavirus pandemic here, I'm going to be offering a 50% discount on all my products for the time being, at least through April. It's now close to the end of March 2020. And uh, yeah, that's basically what's going to be going on. So um, I am an affiliate for ConvertKit. That's primarily what this video is going to be about. There's going to be a link in the description below this video. If you're interested in using ConvertKit, I would be uh, appreciative if you use that link to check them out. Okay. So uh, I'm doing this in real time. So I actually have to think uh, out loud and think about what's going on here. Now, I like to start writing my... Um, promotions and stuff as sequences. In ConvertKit, you have sequences which uh, you can just have a string of emails and you can define how long they get. So this one I can say is going to be sent, for example, immediately if I have send email on zero. So this will be sent immediately depending on a trigger event. So if someone subscribes, for example, uh, then this email will be sent to them immediately if that was the trigger event. And then here I can write another email that gets sent one day later. And so this is just an automated sequence of emails. Okay, so we don't need this one. Let's just get rid of this one. Okay, but I like to write, start writing all my emails in the sequences because uh, that's just kind of like where I like to store all of my the emails that I write is kind of in the sequences tab. And then in, uh, but this is actually going to be a broadcast. A broadcast is when you send your your um, your list an actual email, kind of like a one-time email. And so this is going to be actually a broadcast. So this is, uh, I'm happy with the email so far. Uh, for the most part, it'll probably change once I move it over to the broadcast. But when I do move, move it over to the broadcast, then I will come back here and update the sequence. I, again, I just like to store all the emails that I write, all the promotional campaigns uh, as, um, as a sequence. Okay. Um, so let's go over to the broadcast tab now. And what I'm going to do is create a new broadcast. Okay. Now remember I've stored the, um, code. I like to copy the code. When you copy the text, it doesn't always translate when you paste it, but if you copy the code, then it will always be exactly the same. It's always perfect. Okay. So here, what we need to do is choose who we're going to send this email to. Okay, who will receive this broadcast? And I don't want to send this to all subscribers because a lot of my customers are my subscribers. So this is basically going to be sent to new customers. And um, we're not going to look at it in this series of videos, but I will probably create custom offers for my existing customers. But I'm not going to do that here. This is going to be the sequence or the broadcast that's going to be sent to um, basically all fresh or potential leads, you could say, right? All the leads. So I'm going to get rid of all subscribers here. And I've created a segment. Uh, don't think I'm going to go deep into how to create a segment. It's pretty easy, just done in the subscribers section. But basically, I'm going to uh, filter out and send this broadcast within a segment. And that segment I call fresh, okay? And fresh just is basically everyone is all the leads, all the non-customer leads. Okay, so you can see that that dropped um, it quite significantly. So if we just do all subscribers, so we were at about eighteen thousand. If I just do the fresh, which is basically all non-customers, so um, within segment and then fresh, we'll add filter. And so it drops it down. Okay, yeah, it just takes the customers out. Cool, so um, I think that's it for now. Um, trying to think if I need to exclude anyone. The fresh segment pretty much excludes everyone that I want um, to be excluded. So for now, I'm just gonna hit next step. I might update this later on, but that's kind of the starting point, okay? So um, what I'm gonna do is paste this like that. And I'm going to actually uh, command click on sequences here. And we are going to come over to the pr promotion, excuse me. And um, I'm just going to grab the whatever it's called the subject. 
just like that. And ConvertKit has the ability to A-B test uh, subject lines, but <laughs> whenever I do that, um, it's really hard. Oh, I guess it doesn't really matter. I was going to say it's hard to predict which one's going to do better, but it doesn't really matter. The point of running an A-B test is to see which one performs better, and then ConvertKit will send it out. And so I think they give you instructions on what will happen. Maybe not here, uh, but basically what happens is ConvertKit will send this subject line to 15% of your list, then it will send the next subject line to 15% of your list. Uh, well, they'll, they'll send it out simultaneously. And then the whichever one performs best within those segments will get sent to the rest of the uh, email list. But I'm just going to do this uh, subject line. I just want to keep it straightforward. It's Tech House Production Stuck at Home Sale. That is definitely something that will capture uh, my audience's attention because this is exactly what they do and this is exactly why I'm emailing them. So I don't want to make it fancy. Okay. So this is the uh, broadcast here. So now what I need to do is just make sure all the links work. Okay. And so um, we're going to do that in this video. But for those of you who really just want to see the simple process of running a broadcast email, um, let's go ahead and just finish this up. So one thing I like to do is just see how it looks like in the browser tab. So this is you could preview it how it looks uh, in the browser. Okay, another thing you can do is email a copy to yourself, you can send yourself a preview. Um, sometimes what happens is when you send yourself a preview, for example, I'm going to send this to myself at Gmail. Um, if you send it with the same subject line, what happens is uh, Gmail will start kind of uh, collecting them all under the same subject line. And so what I like to do every time I send a new preview is I'll just put like a period at the end and I'll just keep doing this every time I send a new one. That way I get a fresh email in Gmail and it won't be added to this long uh, list of emails. Um, let me just show you what I mean really quick. So if I um, if I come over to the broadcast and I'll send a, send a preview, so it gets sent. I'll just wait a second and then I will uh, send another one here. Maybe I'll just change something. Um, just put a dash right there and we'll send another one. Okay, sent. So now when I come over to my Gmail, you're going to see that here's the first one, but then a second one's going to come in and we see a two right there. You see that? And so sometimes what Gmail will do is this right here. You'll have to click this open. And right now it doesn't look that bad. Sometimes um, it's just annoying. It's just annoying to have all the emails like this. I'd rather just see a fresh email. And so what I do instead is every time I send a new email, I will just add basically a period to the end. That way I will get a fresh email. So if I send a preview and then um, if I send another one, of course, another thing you could do, sorry, this is ridiculous, but these are things that I actually do. And then I'll send another one here. ConvertKit might start blocking me from sending the emails. But you'll see now that I'll have two fresh emails. So there's the first email. And then I'll get another email just because the subject lines are different. And there's the second one with this two dots. And I just like having a fresh email. Now, of course, what you could do is just come in here and delete them. Um, and then you can just send the email under the same subject line every time. But um, I don't know, sometimes I'm working fast and I, I don't want to delete the email. I just want to read it. And a lot of times what happens is I'll read the email, I'll see something that needs to be changed, and I'll immediately go back over to ConvertKit, make the change, and then I'll want to resend myself an email. So that's typically the workflow is I, I won't stop because I'll be reading an email, I'll see a change that I need to make, and then instead of... Uh, Instead of deleting the email, I'll just want to jump over to ConvertKit. So that's kind of ridiculous how long I've been talking about this now, but that's just something you could do with, uh, um, you could just basically send yourself a preview and then all the craziness that goes along with that, okay? Anyway, and so uh, that's pretty cool. It's something I use a lot and I will be doing here. Um, but the next step then is the final step. As you can see, we have the recipients. We have to define who receives it. We have to create the content. And then um, this just gives you a preview here. And uh, I could preview as a subscriber, um, whatever. But uh, basically, this is the main section of this part. You can send the broadcast immediately, 
or uh, don't worry, if you hit this button, then it will pop this up, which is kind of nerve wracking even hitting that. But uh, or what you could do is schedule it. And so this is typically what happens with broadcasts is you'll usually be scheduling them. Um, and so here I would, um, you know, this is going to probably go out right now. It's 1243 on Monday. I'll probably send this out around 4 a.m. if I finish it by then, or I'll send it out at another time. Or maybe I might just send it out immediately, depending on what time I finish it, because I do plan on releasing this um, promotion today, okay, latest tomorrow, but probably today, depending on how long these videos go or how many problems I run into. Okay, but that's pretty much it. That's how you would create and send a broadcast. You define the recipients, you then uh, figure out the content, you make the email, or in my case, I'm just pasting it in here. I'll definitely make some tweaks, and then you go ahead and um, preview it, see if you like the way the email looks here. This is basically what it's going to look like in a normal Gmail page. If you want to see it, what it looks like on your mobile device, you can always come over again to content, send yourself the email, and then see what it looks like on your phone. And I check both of them a lot, mostly the phone, because most most of the times people check their email on the phone. So I, I want to see what it looks like on the phone. And a lot of times, for example, you can see there's three lines of text here, kind of on the desktop view, but um, you know you don't want to you don't want there to be too many huge blocks of text. Uh, when someone's reading it on their phone. So if I see a huge block of text, I'll, I'll typically break it up, okay? So yeah, that's it. And so uh, recipients, define the recipients, define, uh, write the content, preview it, and then schedule or send immediately. And that's really it, pretty basic, okay? And so you know what? I'm thinking about let's just end the video here because this is a, a well-defined video, right? It's basically how to send a broadcast in ConvertKit. Very straightforward. We've got the A-B testing. You can preview and all that stuff. I don't want to beat a dead horse. In the next video, I'm actually going to dive into this and start making sure that the, um, what's it called, the links work, the tagging system works, uh, and I'm going to set up the tagging system for a follow-up sequence that we're going to do for the people that don't open the email the first time. I want to make sure that I send those people the email again because I want them to open the email, right? And so, um, yeah, we're going to need to work all that out with the tagging. I'll see you in that video. Again, I am an affiliate for ConvertKit. So if you're interested in using their product, I do have a link below in the description. I would appreciate it if you checked out ConvertKit through that link. I will see you in the next video. Peace.